Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So in this episode, I'm going to be cleaning up a whole bunch of stuff. The most important thing that I'm doing in this episode is uh, finding a whole bunch of uh, formations with enemies that give the tra rages that give step mine, because that'll be very important. Alright, so I'm just going to close my eyes here. This is short enough that I don't really care about putting the actual blindfold on. I'll just leave my eyes closed. So run all the way up to the table left and up, hit snooze, and ironically hitting snooze uh, does the complete opposite effect of uh, what it does when I wake up in the morning and hit the snooze button on my alarm. Actually, I really don't do that very often, but all the way down, two to the right, and all the way down. So yeah, obviously step mine's going to be very valuable here because it provides me a source of damage that's completely, my eyes are open again that's completely independent of my level, so cause it's depend entirely dependent on the number of steps I've taken so far, and I can grind that up really easily. Of course, not ever it's going to have a very high uh, MP consumption for Strago, who would be the obvious uh, recipient of it. Because I can't really use the economizer, so... One of them requires killing a Brachiosaur to get, and it's obviously tons of EXP, so I can't do that. And the other way involves a rare steal from a fairly rare encounter in the Phoenix Cave, which is ridiculously irritating to think about having to do in a blindfolded challenge, so most of my travel use is probably going to be coming from Gow or Gogo -Go in this case. So let's go back and forth. This is pretty much the only spot where I can make it really easy for myself to get Vanish. And I'm going to need that Vanish to survive some of the encounters, even just trying to run away and and or figure out what the encounters are. Alright, so let's just skip to Celeste's turn. I already had her uh, mapped out for the last boss fight, so that should be really easy. Oh no, that was probably like the Dark Wind attacking me for probably two damage. Well, I am in the front if it's a back attack. And it seems like some characters on the right and some characters are on the left. Wow, uh, we've got the whole political spectrum here. Alright, now let's go all the way to the right. And my airship, I parked it on the right side of this, the area on purpose. Blindfold on here last time, we do it this time. Alright, so now everyone has Vanish on. Very important because these crawlers, for the most part, can't hurt me at all with uh, the Vanish on. However, there's one that comes in a formation by itself, and that one's still dangerous because when the crawlers are alone, they can use uh, Raid and Discord, which can remove it. They won't kill anyone on their own, but. Alright, so parking it on the far left side. Now I could just go here, run away from like 15 or so battles and call it a day, but I think I'll actually bother to identify which formations are which, just to make things a little different. I mean, 15 battles would probably do it. There's an even chance, almost, of getting each of these encounters, so... Dang it. A uh, solo one already. I was hoping that wouldn't happen for a couple battles. Ironically, the solo one definitely can't kill me on its own, unless I wait a long time for poison to do me in, but... Because Raid won't do anything unless I attack it, and Discord doesn't do anything either, in terms of damage. Alright, now I'm hoping for three or four in a battle. That seems like four. They killed off whoever got hit by Discord, but that was only to be expected. Now I'm hoping for an encounter with three of them. It can be irritating long, irritatingly long before that happens, unfortunately. And I could definitely die to a combination of single crawlers and quad crawlers in that time. 
which would be really annoying because 5 out of 16 chance of a uh, triple crawler battle showing up on every single encounter, so... The odds aren't bad. They're no worse than for any of the other ones. I think, uh... I'm not sure whether it's the quad crawler or the single crawler that... has a 6 out of 16 chance of coming, but that's not a whole lot different. So let's see, will I get lucky and have a triple crawler on the, uh third battle and just clean everything out right away. Nice. Alright. Triple Crawler. They all attack somewhat in tandem, which uh, gives me a fairly good indication of what's happening. So yeah, that maximizes my chances of uh, getting crawlers on the veld. I need to maximize my chances of getting stepmineable enemies because it's really hard to find encounters on the Velt, and it's getting worse because not only are the encounters getting harder to defeat, they're also becoming more numerous in terms of uh, enemies that don't give me what I want, so I need to stack the deck as much in my favor as possible, which means I get need to access as many enemies that have step mine. Alright. I need to find as many enemies that have step mine as possible. As quickly as possible. Thankfully two of them are on the overworld and I'll be getting the next one in the next mini segment. But let's just fly to Sabin's cabin at the moment. Alright, let's just put myself in the right spot. And dump this back on. Because I'll be wanting that phantom rush. Into Sabin's cabin. Hello, Duncan. And that cleans out uh, two of the three thing. No, two of the four things that I wanted to do in this segment. The last two I'll probably do in one go as well. and then I can get on to some real meat. Phantom Rush is uh, one of the few attacks that actually has reasonably decent effect in the world of Ruin still. With double earrings I can get 1600-ish damage out of it. Even with Sabin at level 6. I mean, that's nothing compared to what I could do in vanilla at this point in the game, but... Seven, using fire two, that's cheating. You're having a fist fight, you can't use fire. Alright, so I'll just hold down, no need to menu trick. One step to the left, back in my airship. Alright, so that should be the end of the first mini segment. Let's just go to the general area of the next one. Because that's safe, right? Yes, this random forest on this uh, continent. So let's just close my eyes for a second so that I can save. That's not saving. That's saving. Alright. Part 1 of either 2 or 3, done. Okay, so let's head on to part 2 of this. So, uh, Phoenix down 7. Is all I should want him now. And have Vagar use float on my party. I'm going to be... Just to remove Vanish and... Possibly... Remove the possibility of getting landslided. So the other encounter I want to get all the formations for is uh, Mesosaur. Let's put the blindfold on now. And I've already got the other two encounters for Mesosaur. I was lucky enough to encounter them both 
when I was uh, looking, when I was just walking across the overworld earlier, but there were two in this forest that I definitely wasn't going to encounter by mistake, because this forest is a little out of the way. So let's start walking back and forth. There's two encounters in here. One is Quad Fafnir, and one is, I mean, Quad Mesosaur. Might as well keep my terminology straight at the very least. And one is two Gylomantis plus a, a Mesosaur. The Gylomantis one is really easy to identify, and I think this is probably Quad Mesosaur because nothing's attacking yet. The Gylomantis are generally faster. Yeah, Quad Mesosaur because there's uh, two escape noises from the left side of the screen. Alright, so let's see. If I got lucky, Gylomantis is, and I can pretty much just, uh, yep. That's pretty much the end of the segment then, as long as I escape this battle, which I should. This battle's slightly less likely than the other one, but... So that's the end of that, pretty much. Now, one more piece of uh, random house cleaning before I start the next part of the mini segment. Hello, Phoenix Cave. Right, we're going in. Actually, we're not, but, you know, going in through the Phoenix Cave with four level six characters is probably suicide, just for the record, but. I still have to go in just for a moment. because otherwise I can not reacquire Gao because I need another character to do so. On to the thing, the Majig, the Crane. See, this is what cranes are actually used for, not killing people. Alright, back in the airship. Let's fly back to the Velt. So that I can do the last part of this segment. It'll probably be short, but it'll probably take two or three tries, so I don't want to redo all the last three minutes over and over again. Because if I end up during the World Ruin portion of the Feld Cycle, that's going to be not so great. Alright, close my eyes just for a moment. I cast a float blast, so save is here. Alright, so I did all my, uh, random re-equipping on the airship this time, and, uh, well, I did it on the airship last time, I just did it this time off-camera. That's the most, sim that's the more pertinent thing to say. This is Setzer. Uh, what is this, a chaser? It should be obvious what this is, but I'm drawing a blank. Whatever, just keep walking. Just gotta find Gao. Where are you? <laughs> Amazing how I can uh, find him in this gargantuan area in just a few short battles. How large is this place? It's the entire size of a continent. It would be like me walking around Europe and just seeing my friend somewhere. But I guess this is, uh, it would be terrible if I actually had to wait that long.
I'm trying not to go too fast, because if I go too fast, I might end up uh, blasting Gao and not realizing he's even there. And that would obviously be not so great. Ah, I think I missed him again. That sucks. I don't think I can keep going for too much longer, probably. This team doesn't have the survivability to take a lot. Preemptive strike will help, though. So one of these enemies is still alive, because otherwise they would have been cut off. They've got where to come out. Alright, I think Gao might be here. I'll be able to tell because... Yep, it was Gao, because if it was an enemy, it would have hit me. <laughs> Obviously, because that's what enemies do. And the battle wouldn't have just spontaneously ended, so now let's walk back up to the top. Okay, I'm hopefully there. Thankfully, I got an actual audio cue. So let's uh, check. Yep, hello, Gao. How are you doing today? Huh, you're looking kind of empty. Uh, whatever. Yeah, so let's just uh, land back and save. Closing my eyes this time. Pretty sure I'm still on items. Apparently not. Oh yeah, because I went to equip like an idiot for no reason. It's funny, I... whenever I'm actually not blindfolded is when I completely forget that I, I don't even make a mental note of when I go into the menu. That's why I throw myself off like that so often. See you next time.